Although there are more joys to cycling than simply speed, we've surely all felt the urge to go faster. Consistent training might be the most effective path to upping the pace, but there is a certain delight in the mechanical challenge and the instant results of optimising your bike for maximum speed. We can't deny, we've all been tempted by a blink upgrade in our time. So, without further ado, here are our 9 tips for making your bike faster. Standard black butyl inner tubes may be cheap and relatively robust, but they aren't particularly fast. Friction between the tube and the tyre increases rolling resistance compared to latex inner tubes, which cause around 5 watts less friction per wheel. They're also lighter too. The downsides are the cost, which is around 3 times more, and the fact that latex inner tubes are a little more fragile. You could ditch the inner tube altogether and go tubeless, although costs can ramp up quite quickly with a necessary specific kit such as wheels, tyres, valves, tape and sealant. It is proven to be faster though. Better brakes allow for greater stopping power, allowing you to brake later into corners, enabling you to carry more speed. If you're using rim brakes, upgrading to a set with a separate pad and shoe will make your brakes feel less spongy, more direct and increase modulation, as will swapping out the brake cable housing for a version with less compression. Changing to pads with a grippier compound or one that's better suited to your riding conditions, for example the wet, will also help to increase the performance. For those using disc brakes, increasing the rotor size will add power to your braking and top quality pads aren't significantly more expensive either, making for quite a cost effective upgrade. If you're looking to eke out every marginal gain, you could replace your bearings with some ceramic alternatives. If you do go down this line, just make sure you get some with a ceramic race to go with the ceramic balls because steel races are prone to getting pitted when used with the hard ceramic balls, which degrades the performance of the bearing. If ceramic options are a touch plush, then a replacement set of good quality steel bearings shouldn't cost the earth, but can have a large effect on how fast you can go. Air resistance is one of the greatest forces you have to contend with, so any upgrades that can put the rider in a more aero position will have a significant effect on speed. You could invest in a fancy carbon aero profiled handlebar, but simply going narrower, even with an ordinary round and aluminium bar, can provide greater gains and doesn't have to break the bank. Although aero and lightweight might be the flashier upgrades, there's still some serious watts to be saved from tyres with lower rolling resistance. For example, the Vittoria Corsa Speed G Plus 2.0 TLR may not have the fastest name to say, but they are widely regarded as some of the fastest tyres available. Independent testing from BicycleRollingResistance.com puts the rolling resistance of the 25mm version at 7.5 watts when pumped up to 100 psi. What's more, going for a top end tyre will add comfort and grip to your ride, reducing fatigue overall. Not only is it easier to put out power on a bike that is set up correctly for you, but it can also help get you into a more aerodynamic position. Enlisting the help of a professional bike fitter will enable you to test out a range of components to find out what works best for you. Whether that's a change to shorter cranks to enable a lower front end position and a flatter back, or a switch to a shorter nose saddle to make it more comfortable to stay in an aero position. A deeper section rim will reduce aerodynamic drag, while a set of shallow carbon wheels can both reduce weight and increase rolling speed. A lower spoke count makes the wheel set lighter and will also further improve the aerodynamics, while a hub machined to greater tolerances can make the bearings run more smoothly and even increase service life. Fortunately, you no longer have to spend more on the wheels than you did on the bike. There are plenty of high quality aluminium wheel sets that have a relatively deep section. Mm -hmm. 
If your tyres are too hard, you'll expend greater energy chattering over imperfections in the road surface, too soft, and the increased contact area will slow you down. Although most track pumps do come with a pressure gauge, the cheaper ones tend to be quite inaccurate, and even the more expensive ones can make small adjustments difficult to execute. A digital pressure gauge or an analogue one with a usable scale will help you get the best out of your tyres and leave you riding faster. Finally, the most effective, albeit less glamorous, route to a faster bike is a proper maintenance schedule. Keeping your drivetrain clean can save you precious watts. A specific degreaser certainly makes it easier, just don't forget to dry and re-lube the chain once you're done. Another common issue is brake rub, and if an adjustment of a caliper is all that's necessary, then it's an easy fix that can save you energy and annoyance out on the road. However, something like an out of true wheel is a bigger ask, and that might be a job for the local bike shop. So there you go, nine ways to increase the speed of your bike. If you have liked this video, then please do drop us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great tech content. Of course, feel free to leave us any comments and questions that you might have.